Well, welcome back in the afternoon of October the 1st. Uh, we did a video this morning and uh, earlier, and I had a dear friend call me a fellow trimmer. He is excellent over here in Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, won't give his name, but Westside Trim. We have known him since, well, we were young. His dad was an excellent uh, poster, and also, uh, he uh, gave me a call after he watched this uh, video this morning about direction of the stretch of the material. Very good question. I did not include that. So this afternoon, I felt it appropriate to add to part two and explain how I get east-west stretch North south in, in Naugahyde does not stretch. Let's see if we can't get these pieces over here close. You will see the lines from the manufacturer when they do this. And this is uh, from the SMS out of Oregon. This is good old original Naugahyde. Uh, you don't find this at most of your local trim shops. Now, that being said, you can see the line. Here is the stretch. There is not any forgiving on the north-south. That is the reason that I lay out. When you start pulling the cover over, north-south is, you know, what it is. East-west, you need to have stretch. And I'm going to show you these pieces. This is the one for the solo. They were all cut out for the uh, driver's left backrest solo. Each one of them, if you can see it, you can see the lines running through here. This is your stretch. This has no forgiving. Nogahide, tough old vinyl. Let's put them down. Same thing on the back. Here's the back. Here is the stretch. East, west. I mean, I can stretch it about an inch and that's about it. But there is nothing north, south. Uh, that being said, uh, Joe, thanks for giving me a call this afternoon and mentioning that. I know when I pulled it off the row, it was kind of across the table, kind of confusing. But I do want to let everybody that's on DYI for doing their interiors to remember the direction of stretch needs to go east-west. It'd be nice if we went north, south, east, west. But, uh, you know, this is only a stretch one type vinyl. Let's lay these aside. Get them out of the way. Now we're on to the green fabric that you see laid here. Let me see if we can turn around and zoom down. Now this is very, very expensive, uh, old, new old stock material, comes out of Oregon. Uh, very few people have this. This is period correct for 58, 59 Ford, the 300 Customs and the two door hardtops. Uh, no, only the Customs. But you will see that the pattern runs horizontal all the way through. Not up and down, horizontal. Now, cloth uh, is not forgiving as well, not when it's done like this. It, it will stretch a little, but not as much. So, when you're laying out, let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit closer. You will see hopefully we'll move this up here a little bit that all my material yeah, we are going to get over here is running horizontal now we need to get down here a little closer you can see all the uh, uh, the whole pattern is running horizontal now that means that we have to lay out all these large pieces horizontal and the uh, fabric that was sent, let's see if we can zoom out here a little bit. You'll see everything running horizontal. 
So you got to lay out that direction. Now the the uh, material came in at uh, usable 60 inches. Uh, they sell it at 62, but it's usable because uh, you know you got salvage on the end that has been surged, and then all these new pieces will have to be surged. Let me turn this around a little bit. Uh, again, here's the the original cover that's on the passenger. You can see all horizontal. These are vertical. This is the dielectric. So you got to make sure that you do not waste uh, when a customer brings in a project. You take plenty of time, get it out on your table, cut it the best you can to salvage. Most trim shops don't have a serger. We have right behind me. You can see it. There's a uh, Renaulty four thread serger. And I will end up surging every edge. I'm going to get this back up around before it is uh, sewn together. If you don't, this will ravel and, uh, you know, it won't be pretty. It, it will actually start coming apart. You'll have threads, threads, threads. It'll fight your sewing machine, you know, from the bulk of the fabric coming loose. But this all gets surged. Every piece. I did make a cheat sheet. A little hard to see. I took this out on the table, me and the bride this morning, and we got two and a half usable yards is all we're going to get out of this piece. We're going to try to save the customer any grief. I know he's got another two yards, two and a half, but if we lay this out right and we don't uh, cut corners, we can get everything for this a, a, a 59 Ford out of this two and a half yards because this material is not cheap. I'll, I'll reiterate that. And it takes a long time for suppliers uh, from Oregon to get it to customers and to even us. So anyhow, Joe, thanks over there at Westside Trim for bringing that up. Uh, you guys get used to pulling east-west, make sure you got stretch because when you start pulling over the cover, you need the right-left, you need it to forgive. And uh, these covers are gonna fit tight. And uh, I'm glad uh, to help on the DIY. I'm sorry I left that out this morning. Uh, Joe brought up a good deal that uh, it looked like I was going the other direction, but actually it wasn't. And uh, you know, some, some of the vinyls do run north-south for the stretch east-west, but uh, this particular Naugahyde did run only east-west for stretch and nothing north-south. So, uh, come back and visit us, uh, possibly tomorrow. Let's straighten this camera up a little bit. Uh, and we'll be, uh, sewing up some of the, uh, cloth, uh, as well. Uh, it doesn't get any backer on it. Uh, it, it'll just fight us. And, uh, that's not the way that Ford built them. But, uh, we have to make sure we pad out right. We do the right depth of not only foam but then cotton over the top of the burlap the jute behind on the springs and uh, we'll we'll keep uh, producing these hopefully every day until we finish this project uh, Saturday plan to take off work on the old Dodge truck and uh, Jack over there in Ohio sorry about not showing you a whole bunch about the uh, how I did the uh, uh, splotching on that Dodge D250 to make it look like sap on a brand new pristine painted uh, cow vent. But I will get better cameras and uh, do longer videos one day. Please subscribe, thumbs up. And this is going to be part two continued is the way I'll title this. And if you guys want to keep up with this project till it goes over to Mr. Daigle. 
and hopefully that he will show us a finished uh, once the interior's in his car the finished car god bless come back and see us